it's been a real privilege to go back to some of these objects and uh, have access to them and handle them uh, really for the first time. I suppose this case here is one of my favourite cases. Uh, the curation has been quite a self-indulgent process but what I've tried to do is expose a timeline of technologies and styles from 1660 to 1800. But for me, this early transition into industrialization is, is really fascinating because 1660s, there's collective labor. There are people, skilled people making ceramics in the area. And people think of industry being much later with the industrial revolution. So we have this fabulous, um, I suppose, vernacular style of ceramics, which is North Staffordshire, you know, Thomas Toft, Ralph Simpson. But within that timeline, we have these objects here, which are a bit of a kind of anomaly, really, uh, in the case. These are by John and David Ehlers, two Dutch silversmiths who migrated to North Staffordshire in the 1690s who came to use the red seams of clay local um, to North Staffordshire. But what they did was apply silversmithing techniques to ceramic production. So they are recognized to be amongst the first to use plaster molds to pour liquid clay into. Uh, and then the casts were then used on a lathe and turned to get this wonderful sense of refinement there. But they're all made um, within that kind of high-end elite market for tea drinking but also bring together a fusion of different styles. So Bradwell where the Ealers set up is the location I am from. Uh, I grew up in Bradwell Woods and knowing about that history much later you know it's really kind of fascinating for me to make these connections and really celebrate that history of place and, and um, technology which has developed through the industry really. Their influence doesn't carry on until much later but they are cited really as kind of pioneers within industry uh, which bring together this uh, sense of refinement uh, within production and uh, use of casting as a method of early mass production but uh, these things were not really mass produced at that point in time.